Hi everyone, it's Kevin from the Figure Owners Club and today's video is all about this little baby. This is a door strike plate and I'm going to show you where it fits to the car and I'm going to show you why I'm going to change it. So here we go. Um, you may or may not have noticed this on your car. This is where the plate is. So basically what happens is when you shut the door, this little clamp here so as I'm doing this this little clamp there you can see connects with that that which is obviously on the door pillar and as you shut it what I'm gonna show you now is if I if I do if I give it a pull it's moving slightly and the reason that is happening is as you can see this is the new one and this is the existing one and you can see over 31 years that the plastic has basically worn off and this is a brand new one there's nothing wrong with the plate the plate's absolutely fine but the plastic is what we're going to be changing the reason we're going to be doing it is because we've got this new plastic now if you look around the other side I'll just quickly show you because I've had this for a while I've got it this side as well and what I did with this is I used some insulation tape so I put some insulation tape around it but it's exactly the same it's it's on gone on that edge so it's just as a, a short-term fix or a bit of a bodge and you can see it's already coming off I, I wrapped some insulation tape around that and that sort of made it a, a nicer fit when you when you when you shut the door so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be changing these now you can buy these from a, well I've got these from a Garage FK10 and I paid, um, have a quick look at the notes, so I paid £19.28 each, so you know, 40 quid a set. Um, you know, listen, you know, it's, it's like all parts of the figure, oh, you, you, it's maybe not something you want to change, but we love this car and we want all the parts or we want all the cars to look like it was when it came out of the factory, that's our kind of aim. So uh, not only that, I mean, when you're using the car obviously having a brand new plate on it means it's gonna gonna last for a, a good few many years more so what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be masking this first because what you don't want to do is just take this off um, because obviously then there might be a little bit of movement here so I'm gonna mask it here so I know exactly where this new one fits it's exactly the same size so I'm gonna do that next and uh, we'll carry on with the video so I've masked it using uh, good old Gorilla Tape because that sticks well to the paintwork. So all I've got to do now is take these out. Now I have been given a tip to use an impact driver, which I've got because apparently these are probably being put in by air guns in the Nissan factory and, and I'm not going to get them out very easily without using that. So that's an impact driver, which basically turns the, the screw. I think it's like 20 degrees when you whack it with a hammer. So hopefully, that'll uh, that'll loosen these and i can uh, i can get the screws out so a good little tip here is you don't want to be taking the, the other screw out because i've got a feeling i might lose it so what i'm going to do i'm just going to put a bolt in here and then i'm going to attach the the new one to one of it and then swing it around so i don't uh, i don't lose that i don't i'm, I'm frightened if i take this one off as well um i'm gonna loop maybe this is just like a plate inside the other side of this this pillar so i'm just gonna be safe somebody i no doubt tell me it won't go anywhere but i don't want to lose it that'll be a, a nightmare so to stop it falling i've just put the the bolt out of here into here i'm gonna screw that in that's all good and then that means i can take this one out now so that's the other one out I mean, it could be that it, it's not going to go anywhere, but I don't want to chance it. So I'm just going to leave that one in and I'm going to position the new one here and then just swivel it around nice and easy. So got the bolt in that one and then all I need to do now is take that over, take that out and spin it around. So that's both both in now and you can see there's a little bit of float there. 
it does go up and down slightly so I'm, I'm glad I did that little template hopefully that should work well just to get them tightened up now and we'll have a test okay so I've given it a little polish so let's see if uh, see if she fits well fingers crossed she will oh that sounds lovely you know when you shut a door and you think oh, just you just know that Sometimes you shut doors and sometimes on cars they don't sound great or they don't but this one just it feels right now. There's nothing there. I can't pull it at all. There's no give. There's no gap. So that's all down to this little baby. So yeah, definitely worth it. 20 pounds each, 40 quid. So have a look at yours, inspect yours and see if they're uh, you've just got metal on this edge. This is where it goes into the claw. So a little bit here obviously over i don't know 31 32 years depending on when you're watching this this is 2022 december um that's had a lot of lot of, lot of door shuts isn't it over those years so obviously this ends up perishing coming off so that oh beautiful that's really really i've actually chuffed to bits with that so anyway hope you've enjoyed this video from kevin um quite a short one as i said not everyone's going to notice these things but when i do work on the club car i love to share it with everyone and hopefully people can take from it some, some knowledge so uh, see you on the next one very very soon all right bye bye <laughs>